Jerry. Welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to go do some grading with the homemade grader. Got some trail work to do today. Anyway, we got the extra wheels on it. And we're going to go see how she works and do a five or six kilometer section of trail. So, come along for the ride and we'll have a good old time. All right. section of trail here today about six kilometers and uh, we'll show you how rough it is to start and then we'll show you the finished product when we're done. So I'm pretty happy with the way the grader works. It uh, works pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So it is 30 right now and it'll probably take us a good half hour to get up to the section that we're going to do and we'll be there in the majority of the day. Anyway, thanks for coming. Alright, we're going to go down the trail. I'll just show you what the trail looks like uh, while I'm grading. Uh, you can hear the tractor whining pretty good. The grader, she pulls pretty good when I got the blade down and we're cutting hard. And you can see there's potholes and debris on the side of the trails. The four wheelers certainly dig the trail up on a constant basis. So here I'm going to give you a rear view of what the grader is doing and how much dirt we're pulling. We're pulling as much of the dirt from the side of the trail as we can without getting a lot of weeds and roots in there because that doesn't uh, smooth out very good. It stays in clumps, unfortunately. Uh, but we're grading and pulling the stuff from the side and I'm laying about three to four inches on the center. So it's actually building the center of the trail up and we can actually put a crown on the trail. And so far that's working quite well. It's keeping the rain off the trail and the trail is holding up much better than it ever did before. Sections like you see here, the potholes are very big and there's been so much dirt move from water laying in these big potholes that I just cannot bring enough dirt from the side to fill them. So the following week, we actually had a dump truck come in with a load of gravel and put on top of these holes and we leveled it out and it certainly made a better uh, better part of the trail here. This has been a pretty, uh, pretty rough section for, for quite a long time. Uh, sometime I'm gonna have the backhoe on, I'm gonna come up and try to ditch the uh, ditch here but it, it's hard because we're gonna have to get rid of the material that's there we can't just leave it there so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it probably have to dig it out and haul it away so that's another another task for another day So I'm just turned around from this section. Uh, the section's about four kilometers, five kilometer stretch. Um, I will actually do four passes on a five kilometer stretch. It'll take me 
eight hours to do. Uh, I do some hard cutting, try to fill a lot of the holes as I do the first two cuts. Uh, one on the way down and then one on the way back. And the next two cuts I'll uh, not cut so hard but I will bring my blade a little bit straighter and keep adding to the center of the trail so we make a crown and smoothen, smoothen up the trail. And uh, by the time the fourth pass has been completed, the trail is pretty good. I give it about two weeks, let the uh, wheelers run on it for a while, let them pack it down. I get an awful lot of complaints when, uh, when I'm done grading because the ground gravel is quite loose and it actually feels like you got a flat when you're riding on it. But once a couple of weeks get down and they, get, they pack it down a bit, the trail is awesome. And once people realize that, they, they, uh, they understand what we're doing here. And the trail uh, is staying, it's holding pretty good. So we're, we're getting pretty good trail out of it. Now, I'll give it a couple of weeks and I'll come back and do a final grade. Uh, once the, uh, the it's been packed down, it seems to just do a light grade both sides. Uh, majority of the time it's when I'm heading to another section. So I'll just do a slow grade through while I'm coming up through, go to another section, and on the way back I'll uh, tidy up the other side, and it grades out pretty good. It's quite amazing how much different gravel I come across when I'm uh, when I'm grading. Uh, there's 42 kilometers on this particular section of trail, and from one end to the other there's whole bunch of different types of material. This section here is quite rocky. Uh, I have section that's really sandy. I have sections that uh, they've added uh, crushed rock to and that grades really nice and holds up well. Um, but anyway that's what we do. Well thanks for coming along on this adventure. I've put a lot of time on the trail in the summer and we got a few more kilometers to do to finish up. If you live in our area and you're on the trails, I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're enjoying the work that I'm doing and, and uh, you find that the trail is much better than it's ever been. I uh, appreciate everybody who watches. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It certainly helps the channel grow and I can bring you a lot of options and different videos uh, that, of things that I do. If there's something that you're interested in seeing, let me know. Maybe we can add to that. Anyway, for now, we're going to say so long. And if you have a chance to get out and enjoy some trails in your area, get out and ride and enjoy the adventure.